All right, in this video, you're going to see a few attempts of me trying to catch some crayfish with very little success. Take a look. You doing? I'm going to try catching some crayfish. I'm going to use some cat food. All right, for my second trap, I'm gonna try dry dog food. I'm using dog food and cat food because we can't use any fish byproducts here in Wisconsin. So this is what I'm gonna use. All right, so now I'm going to come back in about an hour or two just to check and see if there's anything that entered the traps. If not, I'll just leave them sit till tomorrow morning because we got to check the traps every 24 hours. So we'll give that a whirl. Well, it's the morning after I threw out my two crayfish traps, and I'm going to check it out right now. Okay, I'm back in a different spot because in the last couple clips I didn't catch anything there so it didn't pay for me to record anything so right now I'm going to set up the traps I'm going to use some canned chicken and a clip. Sorry for all the background noise, people cutting grass, road work going on, bridge over there with traffic, so, alright, so now I'm going to toss in the trap for cray crayfish. All right, this is my third time trying for crayfish, and I'm going to be ready to pull my traps pretty quick here and see what I have. I have a few.
One little one. <laughs> For this trap, I used canned chicken. Seemed to work. Unlike my other trap, where I didn't have a damn thing in it. So it's been a little bit of a struggle the last couple days of me getting crayfish. Yesterday, I got the bottom of a five gallon bucket full. And those are no longer here. With me not knowing what I'm doing really, watched a few YouTube videos and they ended up dying. So I don't have them around. Went to go check my traps today, had a few, and this is what I'm gonna do with them. All right, now I'm gonna put some salt on them to purge them. I rinsed them once before, so I'm going to dump a little salt on, keep that process going, and a couple hours I'll put them in the pot and cook them up. Add some in there. Let that come to a little bit more of a boil. Okay, now it's time to dump these guys in there. that go for about five, ten minutes, five, six minutes or so. And Here I got this big guy. It's a fair sized crayfish. First time ever doing this. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. There we go. Kids playing around. Not a lot of meat. Not bad though. This might take me a while to do this. So, if you like this video, it's kind of a hodgepodge kind of a video with the last couple days of me trying to catch some crayfish. And here I am, I did my first one and wasn't too bad.
a lot of work for a little bit of meat, but gets me outdoors. So enjoy the little things. Remember, subscribe down below, like, share, and comment. Comments help. Enjoy the little things.